You get up in the morning, the first thing you want is drugs. You want more drugs during the day, and the last thing you use is drugs at night. I lost, personally, 50 of my best friends. People that I grow up together, people that I play soccer together, people that I went to school together, people that, some of them, use drugs with me. They're not here. They're gone. If God had time, in 1996, to see me in the garbage, in the rubbish that I was, and he came down and he put his hands, and what do I have to do? I just have to lift my hands and grab his and pull me out. And you know what? I never look back. I was born in a little farming village uh, with my brother, my mom and dad. My mother was very sick all her life. She suffered from manic depression. My dad was working very hard. He was never at home. He was working for the big manufacturer Fiat. And uh, so myself and my brother grew up as Catholic, pushed by my parents, but my parents didn't practice. Uh, we were obliged to go become altar, altar boy to do the catechism. But after confirmation, uh, I started to hang around with uh, older guys and I was introduced to alcohol. And from alcohol at the age of 12, 13, I started smoking ash or marijuana, whatever you call it. And at the age of 14, I found myself hooked into heroin. I was uh, not snorting it or smoking it, I injected. And for uh, 11 years, heroin was the companionship. My parents brought me up with a very severe discipline in the house. Uh, so we were beaten up very often by my dad. I had uh, two arms broken, my tooth knocked off, ribs broken. My, my mother broke my head twice with uh, hard uh, shoes. Uh, that's the environment I grew up, a very fearful environment. And uh, you, my father wants me to always to be 100%, you know, and be the best in everything. But it wasn't possible. Heroin brought me to places that uh, uh, I can only describe as darkness. Uh, I was a criminal. I became involved in criminality. I used to bring drugs from North Europe into Italy, working for a big family organization. It brought money too. It brought uh, a position in society, no fear of anything, but definitely loneliness, a lot of loneliness in my life. The same loneliness I felt when I was a young child. I spent 11 years in drugs and I've been to prison. I've been uh, arrested many times. I robbed. I did everything possible to gain the little bit of sustenance every day. So I took the decision to try to commit suicide. And for five times <laughs> I tried. And it's very funny now, I can laugh about it. But in those times were very dark time. And I was hoping that I didn't wake up. That was my hope, but I did. I keep waking up and I keep coming on with this life. But at the age of 24, thank God, uh, I went home to my parents. My parents didn't see me for a long time. They were not looking for me. They had enough of me. Uh, so my mother invited me to enter a, a community, a Catholic, conservative community in Italy. And I didn't want to enter because I knew that they were praying in that place. And I, I said, I, I didn't want to pray. I just want to get off the drugs. But that was the best uh, things I ever did in my life. I obeyed my mother. I got detox in very short time. So from a train station to my entering community was a week. Uh, I spent five years in that community where I prayed every day, three rosary a day. I used to get up at two o'clock in the morning and pray in front of the Blessed Sacrament. At the beginning, I didn't even know what it was, but my conversion happened in that place. I encountered the real presence of Jesus through the people that were surrounding me, through the founder that was a very charismatic and powerful woman. So I was evangelized, I was catechized, and I was forgiven for all the things uh, bad that I did in my past. Most of all, I forgave myself. So after the community Cenacolo, I came to Ireland uh, with the community Cenacolo and I encountered my wife. So 
In 2001, when I left the community, I started a relationship with this uh, saint. <laughs> she had great courage to have even a friendship with me. And we are married since 2003. We have six children, three boys and three girls. And uh, I work for aid to the church in need. I am very happy to go out and spread the good news of the gospel. I love Jesus, I love Mary, I love the church and I love to be able to help. So everything I done in my past, I took, I took, I took, and today I'm giving, giving, and giving. The struggles doesn't change. Life is not easy, but with the help of people that understand you, with the help of the prayer, with the help of understanding that I am not normal, I am no normal because all the substance and all the life I lived in the past. So I have to be very careful of the things I do in my life. So life is full of joy. If you look for joy, if you want to look for trouble, life is full of trouble. Uh, I have to say, the most important things to me, it was the courage. The courage to surrender. To surrender to my God, there was heroin when I was young, because it was the center of my life, and swap that God with true Catholic teaching, true Catholic believing, the unity, the story of the Bibles, the gospel, Jesus living with his disciples, uh, he teaching them what they should do, and they obey. I do the same. I do that with my children, I do that with my wife, I do that in my daily job. I go out, I meet people, and I listen. First, I listen to them. And second, if I can help, I will try to help. 